Uh, as we always do on our preview shows, we ranked all these guys in the preseason here without conference affiliation, no East, no West. We're just doing straight 14 through one. We're going to break this down for you, why we have all these teams in their places, uh, tell you how each team can do better and put the best players available for each of these teams and talk about it. Fellas, let's get into it. We got, we got number 14 Ole Miss. Now, this is not necessarily a surprise, but it is crazy to see Ole Miss being just a couple years removed from a national championship, being the picked to not even make it to Hoover. They got some good incoming freshmen. So they got a freshman right-handed pitcher, Taylor Rabe, six foot five, big kid. Uh, they brought in Andrew Fisher, third base Duke transfer. Really talented dude. Uh, and Trayson uh, Hughes, an outfielder from Mercer, who might have been the best D1 prospect coming out of a non-power conference. I really like what Trayson Hughes does. I'm concerned that this Ole Miss team does not have a lot outside of these transfer players. They did not have a lot of returning talent. AJ, when you look at this Ole Miss team, what do you see and why we have them at 14? I mean, I personally did not have them at 14 because I have faith in some of the guys coming back who were either battling injury last year or freshmen getting exposed to the SEC for the first time. Um, I think JT Quinn and Xavier Rivas are going to be two quality rotation pieces, pitch much better than they did last year. Don't look at their ERAs. It doesn't show what kind of guy they were, um, what kind of guy they had the potential to be. Yeah. And then, I mean, the real question mark for me is going to be the offensive identity. You have a couple guys coming back, uh, like Ethan Groff and Ethan Leger, who both could have gone pro, could have moved on and decided to come back and help be the identity. But outside of those guys, it's not a lot of known quantities. You lose um, – you know, Jake Gonzalez, you lose um, Kemp Alderman, and you bring in a couple of very good transfers, but how do we see that manifest in the locker room? How do we see that manifest on the field? Getting used to ACC ball is always a challenge. Um, so it's it, it, it they have question marks for me. Again, I don't think they're going to finish last. It's just kind of, you know, they're, they're not going to be in the running for – hosting in my opinion no nope. nobody in this room here had them picked last by the way so all of us did not have Ole Miss picked dead last in the conference but they did get the overall vote as the dead last team in the conference I'm with you AJ I think that they have a little bit and they, they might be able to build off that their pitching was a big question mark last year and they just couldn't get outs in SEC play and then another freshman I want to talk about that they did bring in Campbell uh, Smithwick who might get the start at catcher he he's should. a stud he's a stud um I just don't know if that and the transfer players of Fisher and Hughes can be enough to add on to what they had with Graf. I just don't know if they have enough. But we have them here at 14. Ole Miss at 14 is kind of sad to see, but they are there. 